government bodies knew about a controversial experimental project in which 100 tons of a dust-like material was dumped into the ocean off B.C.S. North Coast, the project's leader said. John Disney, the president of the Haida Salmon Restoration Corp., which initiated the dollars $2 million ocean fertilization project, told CBC News that various federal government departments were aware of his controversial plan. In an interview with CBC Radio's As It Happens, Disney said he had been in touch with several federal departments and agencies, including Indian and Northern Affairs. So Ottawa knew, Disney thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased, said. I don't know what happens within the federal government. All I am saying is everyone from the Canada Revenue Agency down to the National Research Council and the Department of Fisheries and Oceans and Environment Canada, all these people, they have all known about this. The project, in which fine brown dirt-like material was dumped about 300 kilometers west of the islands of Haida Gwaii, was intended to raise nutrient levels offshore in hopes of reviving salmon populations, according to Disney. Some condemnation earlier reports said iron sulfate was used in the thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Dump, but Disney said this was incorrect. He says a finely ground dirt-like substance with trace amounts of iron was actually used. The project has stoked controversy and drawn condemnation from some in the scientific community. The dumping created a bloom of phytoplankton, plants at the base of the food chain that are eaten by other creatures. But the bloom grew to cover 10,000 square kilometers and was visible from space. Mate Maldonado a biological oceanographer at the University of BC who specializes in the impact of trace minerals on thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Ocean Life told CBC News on Tuesday that this could result in the reverse of what was intended. 100 times larger the project is 100 times larger than any of the previous experiments in iron fertilization, she said. It scares me. We have to be very careful about doing this without having a full understanding of how the ecosystem as a whole is going to respond," Maldonado said. The lack of oxygen could potentially create toxic, lifeless waters, she said. CBC Radio's Quirks and Quarks asks thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A scientist about iron fertilization of the oceans but Disney said the project has received support from scientific organizations around the world including the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in the U.S. We've got people all over, people in the Canary Islands, people for who this is their area of expertise and they're all extremely excited because they've been waiting for a very, very long time for somebody to do this on a slightly larger scale.